Welcome back, everyone, to Game Reviews with Lucas and Finium. And it has been a long while since I've done one of these. And for those of you who don't know or don't remember, every time I complete a game on my channel, I will do a review of said game. And this, this one and the next one are a couple weeks late. However, here they are. So, with the first game review, Final Fantasy Seven. For the combat score, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. There's a decent gear system as far as like the weapons, armor, and accessories. It is a bit limited, and with some of the weapons, it doesn't make much of a difference going from one to the other. And the ultimate weapons, the biggest problem with them is they have no material growth, and they all do something very niche. A good example of two that can be broken, but take absolute hours upon hours to do, would be Barrett's Max Ray or Vincent's Death Sentence. Max Ray is, uh, for every maxed out materia in it, gets a damage boost, and the more AP it takes to max out the materia, the bigger the damage. So, if in theory, if you had eight Master Knights of the Round materia, it would do glitch levels of damage. And on the same note as that, you have Death Sentence, which does increasing damage for every enemy that Vincent has killed. Again, this can get up to glitch levels. If I remember right, the number is somewhere in the 40,000s. Now, it does have actually a decent, a really good, in my opinion, materia system and a good variety of magic as well. It's... Uh, it's, again, the basic rundown. It's, you know, your fire, your lightning, your ice, your earth. So, it, it is the basic RPG spells, but it it's done in actually a really cool way that I like. So, yeah, pretty decent. And you can also do different combinations of materia. A couple of the, uh, one of the more famous ones is Phoenix and the final attack materia, and one of my favorites is Knights of the Round with HP Absorb, Knights of the Round with MP Absorb, and W Summon, and Mime on all your characters. Of course, a little bit more setup, but you know, it's broken. And I really, really believe the game has a great variety of monsters, even though they, for the most part, have the basic RPG abilities, can, you know, fire with bolt with ice with quake with all of it they do the variety very well and they mix it up very well and then the limit breaks they for the most part vary from level to level and character to character now this is true for some and less true for others a good example where this isn't as true is barrett a lot of i think between his Level 3 and level 4 limit breaks, they all attack all enemies. The difference is, is his level 4 is in a line, whereas the two from his level 3 are random. Onward now to the story. For the story, I give it a 9 out of 10. This story has had a very special place in my heart since its release over 20 years ago. I really appreciate Cloud's story of finding himself, of always questioning who he is, what he is, how he belonged, if he's a clone, if he's not a clone. It was told very well. And then for those that read into it, look at Sephiroth's mental fragility before he turns into a psychopath. You know, he goes through something very similar to Cloud. He gets that self-doubt and finds out what he is, and it just ends up like fucking killing everything that he can. So, it's one of those things where they both go down and do an extent similar paths. They just... They, they come to a similar crossroads. They just take the different roads. 
Onward now to the dialogue. For the dialogue, I give it a 9 out of 10. Now, this one is, at best, a little controversial. The written dialogue, though at times touching, can be underwhelming, so if it were just for that, it would have gotten a much lower score. However, combined with the soundtrack, and the way that the soundtrack lines up with the dialogue at certain points, it brings out more emotion than most current media, be it video games, be it movies, be it whatever, with spoken dialogue. This is a hill I will die on. <laughs> It's just, it's because it's not spoken, I think that the music brings out more of the emotion. Whereas now we just have the words, so we can, it instantly translates into our minds. But without that spoken dialogue, you have to actually think about what they're saying and why they're saying it. And it's, and, and I could very well be wrong, that could not have been, it could have just been the limitation of the game, and I'm putting too much thought into it. But that's how I really see it. Onward now to the side characters. Side characters I gave an 8 out of 10. Most of the party members have f fleshed out stories. The main notable example against this is Reeves. I really wish Reeves would have had more of a... I wish we could have seen more about him. And, and for those that don't know Reeves, it's just Kate Sith. He's the Shinra manager that is, uh, that is in control of a... Puppet. A remote control puppet. <clears throat> Which kind of falls into my main complaint. There's a lack of backstory for the more important minor characters, such as Heidegger or Scarlet. And I think that if you if they would have just gotten a little bit more backstory, it would have been really nice. Um, Zeng or Zung, his backstory was fleshed out really well. Where you see, like, where he talks about his relationship with Aerith and stuff like that. And that worked out really well. I just wish there was a little bit more of it, again, for characters like Heidegger and Scarlet. But with that being said, that, that one little complaint is easily overlooked when compared next to the stories of, say, Nanakia Red 13, or Sephiroth, or even the story between Cloud and Tifa. It, compared to those, it's just like, oh, that's a, that, that that's a non-issue. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is me just trying to look at it uh, as objectively as I can. It was really hard for this game because I have played this game for since it released. Well, since the year it released, at least. Um, anywho, honor to overall. Overall, a combination of the scores made an 8.625 out of 10. This is probably the closest I've ever come to a perfect game, especially coming from the 90s. And doing these game reviews is going to actually be very telling for me, because I'm curious if I will ever score a game higher than this. It, it truly stands the test of time. I mean, even, even the graphics, as much of an eyesore as they were at points... Um, it, it you know with the soundtrack with you know the amazing story and an amazing cast of characters. It's like I said with the side characters. When you look at all of it, you can kind of look. <laughs> ironically, you can kind of look over the graphics a little bit just because the rest of it is so great. For the replayability of it, I've probably put more playthroughs into this game over the years than any other individual game. Now, what I mean by this is this is probably a singular game that I have played more as itself. A good counterexample would be the Mass Effect trilogy. I'm pretty sure I've put more hours into replays of the entire original trilogy just because it's three fucking games. <laughs> Than I have into play replaying Final Fantasy VII. Although compared to each individual game, I probably put more hours into Final Fantasy VII. Had more time to. Um, now on that note, though, you can you can replay it with the intent of a speed run, 100% completion, 
or you know just attempt to get to max levels you know which you could try and do it uh, as far as the max levels give the last boss or last bosses um bizarro and say for sephiroth as many bonuses as you can be it with um every character having being level 99 going through and morphing all the creatures and the drowned galinka and getting all your stats up to max for at least three characters because doing all eight would be fucking forever to take uh, however every time you replay it there are very minor changes to the actual experience there are um the only major change i can think of is the date scene at the gold saucer and that's it um the for all realistic purposes that changes and the bonus is the bosses at the end change i think that's honestly about it because no matter how fucking tough you are Emerald Weapon will always be that tough. Ruby Weapon will be that tough. Uh, Ultima, Ultimate Weapon will be that tough. Diamond Weapon will always be that tough. Oh, I don't think any of the stats of any of the other bosses changes. So, realistically, that's all it's going to be. And, um, and if I remember right, I have th two or three achievements left to go on Xbox. And... <laughs> Uh, one of them is doing the uh, Gold Saucer date with Barrett. And if I ever find the time to again, I'm going to complete that game for Xbox achievements just because... Holy shit, that's only three achievements. In fact, there's only one game I have less achievements to, uh, to get, and that's Fallout 4 with getting the outlandish amount of tickets for the Nuka Cade. Um, so, yeah, it, I have some very grindy achievements to get, but that's beside the point. Um, like I said, as far as replayability, absolutely, it's definitely worth a replay. Y you can play it through different styles, you can pl replay with different parties, but essentially the gameplay mechanics will not change. That's the only problem that I think as far as replayability, it, it could get stale after a while, but that's about it. So, I hope you all have enjoyed this game review. I hope uh, hope you all give it a try. It's on, uh, it's on Xbox, it's on PlayStation. And hopefully, if it ever comes the fuck to Xbox, which I'm not sure it will now because Microsoft and Sony are having a big My Dick is Bigger contest. Uh, if the remake ever comes to Xbox, I will, uh, I will absolutely play it on my channel. And so, with that being said, I, you know, if you want to support the channel, do what all YouTube wants you to do. You know, to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know uh, what other games you're looking forward to on the channel or what games you think I should try. But the most important thing of all, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!